So today I'm going to be making a uh, popcorn pan for the uh, lady who co coordinated all of our popcorn sales for Cub Scouts. And I'm going to be using uh, popcorn kernels, epoxy resin, and then I'm going to pour it in this form I made. We're going to see how well this works out. This is just cardboard and uh, aluminum uh, HVAC tape. And I modeled it after the same length as a normal pen, uh, wooden pen blank. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some of this epoxy and see how this goes. So our epoxy is set up, it's nice and hard. Can't squish it. Nice and hard, it's not tacky on the surface, so. Bleed over from the ink on the tape, but I'm gonna take this over the chop saw, square up the ends and cut it down for um, drilling the holes for the insert tubes for the pen blank in it. So I've got my blanks cut to roughly the size they need to be. Up. So now I made this little right angle pen blank holder and all I've got to do is find a good orientation to clamp this in and drill my holes. One thing to note on these brass tubes is it's best to scuff them up with a little bit of sandpaper so that your epoxy or super glue can get a grip. And what you're looking for is to make sure the end of that brass tube is inset on both ends. So now we just leave that to cure. And I usually give them at least an hour, even those 12 minute epoxy. So now the tubes are epoxied in and dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp them in here and use a barrel trimmer to get these trimmed up where they need to go. So a barrel trimmer. You can see the uh, shininess on the end of the brass tube. You just go until you barely nick that. And now you're ready on that end. So you have to flip it over, do the other end, do the other blank. Okay, so I've got my lathe and my spacers and all that ready and I normally have to look up where these go. The long one is the front, short one's the back and whenever I'm done, these numbers always rub off. I've got a one, two, three, four because they're all different sizes. Um, it's a Euro pen style kit. I always write the numbers on them when I put them away. So it's really easy to put them back in order. One's always a tip for me. So. So 
So on this first set, I actually overcut the top barrel and didn't do it correctly. So I had to make another set of blanks and redo it. And you'll see that coming up shortly, but I messed up this first one and it didn't look right. And the uh, transition was terrible on the top piece. So I had to go back and redo it. So now I turn this shoulder correctly so it's got a much better fit up on this redo. So now it's time to uh, break out the sandpaper. So this is just straight off of the uh, micro mesh. Polishes it up pretty darn well. I've got a couple of missing kernels right here, but it'll, I'll just put that under the pocket clip and it should look fine. Got this transition worked out a lot better now. This is the back of the pen. This is the front. Just gotta go a little more, probably just to that line. Fully retracted and extended. So now I'm just gonna put this ring on this piece here. So 